Hi boys and girls. The story I want to read to you today is called The Very Hungry Bear. Here you can see the front cover with the title. And the author is Nick Bland. He's written lots of books, but this is one of my favourites. I'll read and I'll show you the pictures as we go along. Listen carefully. There he is, the very hungry bear. Bear was in a grumpy mood. He hadn't eaten any food. And he couldn't catch a single fish at all. He'd been hungry since the break of day. And every fish had got away. But now something huge was on his hook. He cranked the handle. Round and round. He yanked the line. And wound and wound, he flicked it here and he waved it over there. A hungry bear is very strong, so it didn't take him very long to discover mm, that he'd caught a polar bear. Do you have to fish there, said the hungry brown bear. You're catching all of the fish. I'm sorry, he said. As he lifted his head, you can have one of mine, if you wish. Wow, what a kind polar bear, he's sharing. Then he added with a smile, you can have the whole pile, if you'll just find me somewhere to stay. My iceberg is shrinking, and soon I'll be sinking. And my home is such a long way away. He's giving all those fish to the hungry bear. Wow, that is generous. Now, a fish to a bear is like a chocolatey clair. It's incredibly hard to resist. So the thought of a pile that would last for a while was an offer too good to be missed. With a splash and a splish, and an arm full of fish, Bear led the way through the trees. My cave's over there and I'm happy to share. You can stay for as long as you please. But his guest shook his head. I'm so sorry, he said. Well, your cave is particularly nice. It's just a bit hot for this coat that I've got and the fire is melting my ice. So they went to see Mole and he dug them a hole, which is cooler, but just a bit small. And they visited Croc on his cool river rock, but he wasn't that helpful at all. Oh, perhaps this is best said the bear from a nest but I think I'm going to sneeze then he squinted his eyes and he said with surprise ah, I'm allergic to trees so the bear with white hair followed right behind bear to the only place left they could go away from the trees and the warm summer breeze all the way up to the snow. They built him a home with an icy white dome and Bear left a housewarming gift. With a smile and a wave, Bear went back to his cave and he stopped on the way for a fish. Well, that was a happy ending and Looks to me like Bear's no longer grumpy. Thanks for listening.